With less than two months until the Alabama primary election, recent polls are showing that many Democrats remain undecided in major races. In News 19's Kayla Smith is joining us now in studio to talk about how those candidates are working to share their platform with voters. This week, the DeKalb County Democrats hosted a candidate meet and greet. The attendees are running for several national and state offices, including the governor's office and a U.S. Senate seat. Democratic candidates gathered in DeKalb County to discuss economic issues and job growth. One of the things we're not good, doing good in this state, we're not negotiating good deals. I have a strategy that's going to put Alabamians back to work. And they emphasized the importance of education. Bring our children up, you know, make them successful, and that's through um, psychological evaluations. Though the offices these Democratic candidates are vying for are currently held by Republicans, they are working to put their message in front of voters. So I'm getting out, I'm working, and I think I'm going to bring a lot of independence to this campaign. I think I'm going to have crossover Republican votes, and I expect a good support from the Democratic Party. They say they would represent Alabamians regardless of their political party. I want voters to know that they can depend on me to go to the Senate to represent the needs of all people, not just a single group, not a special interest. And candidates said the most important thing Alabamians can do is head to the polls and vote on Election Day. As we talk about what makes us different, we also need to talk about the fact that we need to turn out the vote everywhere, especially in a primary where there are plenty of African Americans. The primary election will take place on May 24th. For more information about the upcoming election and the candidates you will see on the ballot, you can visit whnt.com.